was a big gymnast when I was younger, so I dreamt of going to the Olympics as a gymnast, and I was in the gym before school, after school, and I've really kind of always lived a life of sport, and I, I, I love it. I love the passion behind it. Joining the military is a pretty short and sweet answer. I love our country. Um, I fell in love with the flag, the red, the white, and the blue early on, and always wanted to give back. I lost my leg in April 13, 2004, over in Iraq, and I was actually glad it was myself instead of another one of my soldiers. I feel like I had the right team and the right mindset to kind of accept it and move on. And, and I did pretty early on. I went to Walter Reed Army Medical Center and I was surrounded by a lot of other soldiers that had lost two, three, or four limbs or you know, traumatic brain injuries or eyesight. So I really considered myself very lucky because I had just lost one leg. So I wanted to live my life for those that gave that ultimate sacrifice and no longer could and set out for that to be a mission of mine. So I swam in the 2008 Beijing Paralympic Games and afterwards in 2009 I was invited to do a triathlon by a group called the Challenged Athletes Foundation. They're actually based in San Diego and they had a group of military veterans that they would get into the sport of triathlon. So in 2009 they said, hey, why don't you try a triathlon? And I thought they were crazy because swim, bike and run like all in the same day, all at the same time seemed a little out there. But I gave it a shot. I swam, my bike, I ran and I crossed the finish line and I was, I was hooked. I love the challenge of all three sports. I love being on the same course as able-bodied athletes and crossing that same finish line and just, I mean, I really fell in love with it. Dare to Try, it's a, called Dare to Try, the number two on Paratriathlon Club. And it's a nonprofit based out of Chicago. Myself and two friends co-founded it back in 2011. And we get other athletes with physical disabilities into the sport of triathlon. So youth, adult, injured service members, and we basically take every reason that they would say they can't do a triathlon and we tell them that they can. So adaptive equipment, coaching, training, we have year-long practices, camps, clinics, races, and we get them onto that starting line, they get to that finish line, and just the self-confidence, the self-worth that they have, it truly changes lives.